So the next morning, I rented a car and drove out towards the Bombay Hills. To the Simonovich estate and restaurant Braco, but I hear there is much, much more out there. The whole place is about the olive and everything that it produces. I met Patrick, who warmly invites me into the estate. He's such a nice guy. Inside, they have everything that could be made from the olive. Oils, tapenades, hand creams, and moisturizers. All of them made right here for sale. And this is your lovely gift bag Thank for you. today. You're welcome. Kelly, welcome to the Semenovich Olive Estate. Thank you. On a beautiful day. Tell me a little bit of the love and life that you made from this little piece of fruit. The whole Semenovich Olive Estate is a celebration of the olive. And that goes right through from the olives, through to the olive leaf, through to the olive oil, the food that we eat, the welcome at Braku, and the body creams that will leave you healthy and restored going forward. We're just getting ready for the harvest now. So if you look at this, you can see some are green, some are purple. And some are purple. And of course, these ones are ready to go. Can you feel the oil in that one? Yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah, you can, you feel yeah, you how can pumped actually they feel are. it. And the oil gonna come out? A little bit, yeah. Oh, the oil <laughs> came out actually. <laughs> so what we have here is this is the extra virgin. So this is seven different varieties of olive all pressed together to make this one beautiful olive oil. And this is a multi-award winning olive oil as well and it's some of the best chemical composition in the Southern Hemisphere. Now I saw Patrick gave you a gift bag and it's just a, a wonderful pile of goodies yes. here from our, from our body products collections. Uh, I'd just love you to try on one product now. This is our Tebby hand cream. So you can put this on every day. It's got olive leaf extract in it, which is antibacterial and all those things, but it's also deeply mm, moisturizing. After talking to Paul, I went to see what the Simonovich estate had to offer. I feel like I could be in Europe. It's crazy that's so close to Auckland city. I am going to meet the head chef, Mikey. For us and what we're trying to achieve here is to be as natural as possible. We're blessed with such kind of fertile land here and it seems almost a waste of potential not to kind of make the most of this opportunity. But there's certain herbs and stuff like that that have such a short shelf life, we like to keep them alive and, and cut them to order. So your lettuce or your herbs or something are still growing until you've ordered that dish. Mikey practices what he preaches. These are the exact ingredients that we just picked. Very cool. Wow, I recognize all these leaves and it's amazing. Actually, you can see all them here. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, thank you. Thanks for having me here, Donna. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm very excited to try this. So let's try a little bit. Absolutely. Oh, I'm happy you're enjoying it, Kelly. I love it. Tell me about the story of this place. Your family is from Croatia. That's right. And this is a family business, so tell me about everything. That, that's right. I mean, the idea for this place really comes from a long heritage. It's a very big idea from a very small island of the island of Brač in Croatia. It's where my family is from. And back there, everything was about sustainability and feeding one's family and community. And the idea really comes from there because the family used to grow olives and still does grow olives and grapes and has many animals and really they look after their communities very well. So we've brought some of those ideas here hopefully in producing this beautiful olive grove. Thank you so much for having me here. I had in a great adventure. It was so much fun and I'm loving everything. Kelly, you're so welcome. It's been lovely having you here today. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, and that's a great wine too. Absolutely. <laughs> wow.